Hey, I'm Carson James, and this video is about to be really boring, but it's really, really important. So one of the things that is super underestimated is the super important maneuver of standing still. Okay, so why is it important that a horse is really good at standing still unless he's being asked to move? Well, one, Anytime the human is thinking, don't do anything, and the horse is thinking, do this, 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 and move here, move there, that's, you guys see how that's a disconnect of mentality from what the rider versus what the horse is thinking? So there's one. Number two, stopping and standing still are really closely related. When a horse goes from go, loping or trotting, whatever, going around to a stop, think about it. What is he doing? He's going from not standing still to standing still. So if your horse is not good at standing still, that's gonna interfere some with trying to get a good stop on him. Uh, on the ground, when you know somebody goes to a new place or whatever and that horse is not understanding the difference of when it's time to move your feet versus right now, like when it's time to not move your feet, once again, a disconnect and you can't, you don't have control of your horse's feet. Therefore, you're not going to have control of your horse's thoughts and emotions and his decisions. So it's a really important deal. A uh, couple tips for helping a horse stand still. If they're not real bad to walk off when you go to get on them, we're talking about just standing still in general. But for a minute here, we'll cover getting on. Uh, one thing that people should get a lot better at is getting these reins adjusted to where you're not holding him, right? You don't want there to be pressure on him when he's doing what you're wanting. So these have to not have pressure, but they need to be ready to where all I've got to do is move my hand that much and I've got a hold of him and I can stop him. It would not ever be a good habit to get in of mounting a horse with your reins like this. However, somewhere in there would be good. So let's say this horse had a little bit of a tendency to walk off when mounted. Watch what we can do right here, right when, or if they go to back up. So if he was to do, if he was to keep backing up like that, all I would do is I would just step right out here and I would, and I would do that until he took a couple steps forward and then we would start over again. So I can get my reins adjusted like so, and then watch here, as I go up, right there i can just raise up my hand so if he was going to move around i could kind of stop him kind of say no no buddy just hang tight can you do it can you do it can you do it good boy and then we'd slide on and then if he went to take a step i go whoa 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 what do you think i wouldn't only stop him but i would kind of put him back where i had him say no dude stay don't don't go two foot forward and then stop and try again if you go two foot forward, we'll stop and back up and come back to where I left you. Um, another technique you could do, if he was to randomly walk off right now without me asking, I could just start redirecting him. This is a great thing to do for a hot horse. So I'm not gonna pull back and stop him. I'm just gonna keep on redirecting him like this, using no leg, using no life in my body, until there, until he says, you know what, I think I'll turn off. And when I feel him starting to get ready to shut down, I just open up my reins. So redirecting, not pulling back and stopping, but redirecting, that's a great thing to do. Now the flip side of all this is, is once your horse gets really good at understanding how and when to move his feet, a, a horse standing still good, is kind of more of a result of getting him to where he does move his feet really, really good. So see, like when I'm asking him to move around here and do all these things, see, I'm, I've got a lot of energy in my body. I'm, you know, I'm really riding him. I'm up, I'm up off of my butt. I'm kind of tilted forward in my pelvis. I'm using some legs. See how I'm kind of bringing him around right here. Then we'll stop him right here. And then we'll get him back in, but see how I got some energy and some life in my hands. Now watch the difference in my in me. When we're ready to be done, see how I just shut down? Where people mess up is they get their horse riding around and they ride him around like this. 
You guys see the difference in that versus this right here? Let's go, let's go. They're not with him. So uh, make sure when you're wanting your horse to go, you actually ride him and make sure that you get him really good at separating when it's time to move versus when it's time to not. Because if you don't have that extremely basic foundation, it is gonna be such a huge conflict with anything you ever try to do with that horse. Standing still is something that's really, really important for developing unity between the horse and rider and also your horse's mental soundness. So we've developed an entire mental soundness checklist where you can go down through there, check off all the boxes and make sure that you and your horse have all of the necessary ingredients to build mental soundness in your horse. So to get the checklist, just go here and we will see you next time.